Hey, hello guys, good morning. If you're all doing, doing well, staying safe. So today's video, we're looking at level four of the circuit training program. For those of you at home with this program, or for anybody watching this video, it's not really tailored, but it is more of a, a higher intensity one. So it's one maybe for people who are more experienced exercise, the people who've gone through the previous levels, the so level one, two, and three of this, and they've done it for a good few weeks, a good, a good few sessions, because it is quite a high intensity workout to make sure that you're, you're prepared for it. So, like the same, it's going to last roughly 30 to 45 minutes, do it two to three times a week, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Friday, getting that day's rest in between, but on those days, make sure you're still keeping yourself moving, whether it's going out for a walk, or whether it's just doing some gardening, anything you can sort of keep yourself busy, because we don't really need to sat doing absolutely nothing. So, like with all the previous programmes, the main sort of most important bit to do beforehand is a warm up. So, I'll get to that in the programme. So, we've got a variety of exercises, a lot of them we do here with, with a set atrium. So starting off with the lower body and then going up into the upper body after that. So I'll get started with that first. So the first one is a leg swing. So you want, if you've got a kitchen counter or a chair or anything to hold on to for your balance, you just start with the right leg, just trying to keep it nice and straight. Just bring it forwards and backwards, just opening out the hips. Just like so, and then doing that for 20 to 30 seconds or six to eight reps. And then on to the next one, just like so. Okay, so next one we've got leg abduction. So again, holding on to some balance if you need to, just bringing the leg away from the body, trying to keep it nice and straight. And also you want to try and keep your upper torso as well in line, so you don't want to be leaning out to the side. Just be nice and tall, making sure we're just working these leg muscles down the side. So next we've got knee raises, so just opening out the hips, just getting this a little bit loose. So we're just bringing the knees up, nice and slow, up to about hip level. If you want, you can incorporate your arms nice and slow, so it is double warm up, you're not be going too high or too fast. And incorporate opposite wrist to opposite knee, if you're feeling flexible, opposite elbow to opposite elbow. The next one, heel flips, this is just working, uh, so that was working our hips, it's now working the back of our legs, just the opposite, so it's just bringing the heels up to our back sides. Going for 20 to 30 seconds, or six to eight reps, just like so. So that's all the legs now. So next we've got the upper body, so with all the upper body, we're going to keep the feet moving just to keep the blood flow going to the legs as we're now working the upper body. So we've got chest and bicep stretch, so you want to start out with your hands out in front, nice and straight. Opening out, nice, slow and controlled, feeling that contraction and that stretch across the chest. If you want, you can change it a little bit, come out at a different angle, changing the angle each time, just keeping that feet moving as well. 20 to 30 seconds, or like six to eight reps. Next one to the shoulders, so keeping the feet moving, arms out wide. Just drawing little circles coming forwards, slowly getting bigger. And then once you've done that, shake it off, have a rest, and then do the same again, going backwards just like so, getting bigger as we go through. Okay, so now we're on to the side raises, so keep, keep keeping the feet moving still. Shoulders, arms down by the sides, just coming up to the side, arms nice and straight, just like so. 20 to 30 seconds, six to eight reps, and then finally we've got the shoulder shrugs, so Feet still moving, just bringing the shoulders up to the ears, nice and controlled. And if you want, you can roll them backwards, you can roll them forwards. So that's one sort of circuit of the wall, but we want it to last 10 to 15 minutes. In the bucket, it does say five to 10 minutes, that's a bit of an error on our side. Where 10 to 15 minutes, a good proper warm up. So once you've gone through with them once, you can go through them again. And then if that's still not 10 to 15 minutes, you can go for a wall, just get the heart rate up a little bit, feel, feel the body work, and make sure we're properly ready for exercise. So, knowing how hard you should be working, we've got the RP scale at the back. So during the warm-up, obviously it's only getting us ready, ready for exercise, not the main exercise component. But the RP scale, so hopefully you'd find the warm-up sort of very light to light at the very highest. So that's sort of nine to 11 scale. And then once you've done that, onto the main exercise component, the actual circuit itself, you want it to be down this sort of 12 to 14 range, just sort of somewhat hard, feeling the body's working. Breathing a little bit heavier, body temperature a little bit higher, feel yourself sweating a little bit and whatnot. And yeah, so we'll get into the exercise. So with this goes to circuit, you want to perform each exercise one after another. So once you've done one set, and then onto the next exercise, onto the next. Getting little to no rest in between. You can have a quick drink in between if you need one, obviously you want to stay hydrated. But then once you've done the circuit through once, then have two minutes rest, get your, get your, get your water on board and then we go through again. And then depending on how you find it, you can go for two to three sort of repetitions of the whole circuit where you go four to five. So as I previously mentioned, this is the 
This is the highest level out of all of our circuits. So we're on level four here. So today we're starting off with the overhead squat. So this is quite a sort of difficult exercise to do in terms of balance, coordination, and actually being able to sort of hold yourself in that position. So I'm going to show some sort of demonstration first of previous exercises that we want to make sure you can do before you actually do this. So in level three, we've got, we show you just doing a regular squat. So you want to make sure you're quite capable of this before actually trying the overhead squat. So it's just like so, so it's just squatting down, keep yourself nice and tall as you go down, trying to get to this angle here, trying to get as deep as you can, bring your arms out in front if you can, and then back up. So if you're finding that quite easy, what you can is you can slow it down, so you're going nice and slow on the way down, working the muscles a little bit harder, and then up. Okay, so if you find that slow and controlled squat, if you find you're quite capable of that, you can add a little bit of resistance. So you want to hold them just in front of your shoulders, just sort of shoulder level, going down nice and controlled, and then back up, just like so. And if you keep capable of that, you can do the same, keeping these weights here, these bottles of water, cans of beans, whatever you've got at home. You go down, and then when you come up, you can incorporate a press, so working the shoulders as well. You're going down, and then fully up, pressing up above. And once you feel like you're capable of all of those, and that's when we probably suggest doing this overhead press. If you want to incorporate sort of your shoulder mobility, your shoulder strength and everything. So, start off with, you can start off without resistance, if you want to just have your hands above your head, but I'm gonna use some bottles. You want to start off with your hands above your head. You're coming down, making sure that your arms aren't coming forward, you're keeping them pinned back. Nice, your back nice and tall, and then coming back up. Just like so. Okay, so we have 10 repetitions of that for 30 seconds. And you're straight on to your next exercise. This one's now working the chest, it's a modified push up. So, to protect your knees, I'd suggest doing it on a carpet or some sort of mat. We don't want to do it on like a hard kitchen floor or anything like that. So, have your knees face sort of hip width apart. What you can do is you can cross your legs there, you can like that, whichever way you find more comfortable. You have your, shoulder, your hands placed about shoulder width apart. Just, in, just below your shoulders, and you're just coming down and then pressing up. What you want to do is you don't want to arch your back or round it, you want to make sure you're not nice and tall, nice and straight, engaging your core, bringing your belly in, just like so. Okay, go for 10 repetitions or 30 seconds, and then moving on to the next exercise. So this one's a bit of a bringing the heart rate a little bit more up, so this is a jog on the spot, so obviously it's just as it says, nice and straightforward, so you just moving those knees and arms, opposite hand to opposite leg. If you want, you can go a little bit higher, depending on how capable you find in the exercise. Just like so, going for 30 seconds or 10 repetitions on each leg. So, next one, got an ultimate exercise, is a front and sideways, so working the shoulders now. Suggest so using some sort of um, weight with this, some sort of resistance. So you want to keep the feet moving as well, nice and slow. So you're doing both the front and the sideways. So you're coming out to the front, back down, and you're going out to the side. I would say you do 10 repetitions, going out to the front, and then 10 out to the side, we'll just do 30 seconds of doing both, just like so. We're working on all the different aspects of the shoulder. And then finally, we're finishing off, finishing off with another whole body movement. So it's a jumping jack, getting the body working again. So we're going just a full jumping jack, just like so, going for 30 seconds or 10 repetitions altogether. Okay? So that's all your exercises for this level four now. So obviously, you know, once you've done it through once, you can then repeat it two to three times, depending on how capable you think you are, what you're rating it on the RPE scale. And then you can gradually, if you find it easier, you sort of find out that sort of nine to 11 range, and you can increase more sex into it. Or if you want to make sure that you're not working too hard. So if you are finding it down to this sort of 15, 17, this sort of hard to very hard, and you want to realise that you may be working yourself a little bit too hard, you sort of want to take a step back, reduce the intensity, reduce the reps and sets, and just make sure you're not working yourself too hard so you can cause any sort of injury or anything like that. So like it's important to do a warm up, it's also vital to do a cool down. So unfortunately we don't actually have any cool down exercises per se in the programme, but what you can do is you can go back to these warm up exercises that we did at the beginning, and do it for five to ten minutes, just sort of, you can do the sort of same exercises, but you can just sort of decrease the intensity, decrease the reps and the time you do them. Just make sure you bring your heart rate back down, your body temperature, you're feeling the body's returning back to its normal sort of state, and then yeah, so to prevent any sort of problems that could happen after exercise. 
So, and then finally, we've got sort of ways of progression. So, like I said, we can do 10, to 10, 10 repetitions of the exercises or 30 seconds. So, if you are finding the exercises you're getting a little bit easier, that, that light, sort of very light sort of stage of the RP scale, then you can go up to, you go from 10 repetitions to then 12 to 15, or you can go from 30 seconds to 45 or to 60 just to see how you're getting on. Also, with the amount of repetitions you do the full circuit, you can start off with two and increase it to three, four, five, depending on how experienced and how well you're capable of the exercises. Okay, so also just before we finish, we did mention yesterday, it's in, um, Lee mentioned that one about doing a Facebook Live sort of exercise class starting next Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So hopefully you can stay tuned, stay tuned for that. And hopefully you found this video helpful and you can also join in with the Facebook Live class as well. So cheers.